Hi everybody, um, this is a product review I'm going to do on the new Stealth uh, Fisher 460 um, fishing kayak. It's, um, as you know, Stealth uh, make uh, probably the leading uh, fiberglass kayaks in the world. Uh, they've been around for many, many years. They make a great product. Uh, got quite a nice range of, of kayaks as well. And the Fisher 460 uh, is part of a, the Fisher range, which is the 460, the 500 and the, and the Fisher 555 and uh, great kayaks um, built for, for bottom fishing as well as obviously for, um, for trolling and, and game fishing as well. Great all around ski and um, today I'm going to show you um, my personal ski. Um, I've just rigged it out during lockdown and um, just to give you an idea of the, the kind of um, accessories etc that I run on my kayak and uh, maybe it'll give you some good ideas for what you can do on your, on your kayak. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy uh, what we've done on this. Thanks very much, of course, to Railblazer and to Lorenz for the amazing products that they continue to supply me with. And um, yeah, have a look and uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Right, this is my Stealth Fisher 460 kayak. Um, and uh, if we start in the front of the kayak, um, the standard things, uh, the two drain plugs, one for the main hatch, and of course one for the outer hull and uh, what you'll also see over here I've got an anchor trolley system that I've set up down the side of the ski that's also for uh, you know for obviously for bottom fishing and uh, it's something that we do from time to time when conditions are conducive to that but uh, I've opted for a really nice uh, different color scheme to normal um, something different something nice and bright I usually go for for white kayaks with uh, an orange stripe or blue stripe or whatever but uh, decided to go a little bit different um, but yeah if we uh, carry on around yeah you'll see that I've got the new uh, Lorenz hook reveal uh, the 5 and it's a great great fish finder um, also over here I've got my one of my GoPro mounts the Railblazer mount and uh, that does a great great job super strong and uh, definitely does the job um, also over here you'll see um, we've got this spongy system which um, links up to the, the hatch lid and um, yeah it's uh, you'll see as well that it flips up really really well got amazing uh, buckles the straps here definitely um, makes a big difference when surf launching make sure that hatch lid doesn't come off also here I've got an additional bungee system here which um, is effectively just for um, for launching to get extra extra support but also for when you're out there so you don't need to to uh, keep the the latches on you just have that piece of bungee and that's the hatch lid uh, situation where it just pops up uh, makes a great difference and uh, especially when you're on the water you don't want to battle with a hatch lid you just want it to pop up easily and nicely and also underneath there got a nice storage bag um, I normally launch with my fish finder inside this bag inside this hatch and uh, obviously does a, a great job in, in protecting the unit when you're launching obviously you've got your rods really big fish hatch as most also down inside we've got two bungee systems um, that's just to put some tools in uh, your lip grips etc you'll see here is a four inch hatch that gives us access to where we mount the transducer for the fish finder um, there's some rod loops um, additional bungee just onto the back section here to um, hook your rods on and um, you know it's always good to have your rods elevated but um, other than the rod loops this just stops the rods from going all the way forward and of course here we've got a fish hatch um, the live bait hatch at least and um, yeah with just two saddles which are hook my lip grips onto and uh, and same with um, the pliers or knife or whatever um, and if you look more towards the back obviously it comes with two standard rod holders um, as well as I've mounted these four extra rod holders um, those are really great because um, you know I normally fish with and troll with with three rods and uh, you know you need normally a bait stick as well as maybe a popper or or a bottom fishing uh, setup as well so that really helps uh, for sure um, with your spreading of rods whether you're trolling or just uh, just fishing normally it just helps with the spread of uh, make sure you get no tangles and it really does a great job as well 
Right, when we're looking at the side of the ski as well, as I mentioned, we've got an anchor trolley system. This line that runs down the side all the way. Uh, fed the top, top piece of rope of the anchor trolley system through this little loop that I've made on the handle. Uh, just keeps it together. And then of course, this loop here, it'll just unclip and then goes to the back or to the front, wherever you're going to anchor from. Usually anchor to the front and then uh, when you're pulling the anchor up, um, you obviously pull it towards the back. There's the back pulley, which uh, does the job. Nice stainless steel solid pulley. And uh, if you look over here as well, um, I've put two additional uh, straps with loops on. That's just um, sometimes you carry an additional uh, maybe ice pack or whatever at the back. Um, but yeah, the main things at the back I think are, are this hatch system. Um, I've put two bungees just to secure it um, on both sides. It is a very, very strong system. This um, The added uh, benefit of the bungee is just to give 100% um, security for this flip, flip up hatch not to flip open if you happen to uh, take a tumble in the waves coming back in. Um, we, we launch through some hectic surf um, most of the time and it's just good to have some extra support there for sure. In addition to this, uh, you'll see at the back um, my Railblazer camera boom. Um, Railblazer make amazing products. It's got a, a mount, a round mount there, which bolts through the hatch lid. And it's completely adjustable here, as well as over here. Um, and I, I'll launch with this on. Um, I've got a little leash system here. And I'll have this piece of Velcro here, which does a great job securing it and then launch with the GoPro attached here, this one that I'm holding at the moment. And um, of course it'll it'll go out to the side or go up or down or wherever you want it to go. But it's really a very secure system, solid. Obviously there's a base mount here which keeps it solid here and then this Velcro does a great job here too. When it's really big surf then I normally put, pop this bungee over here as well just to give it extra stuff because um, yeah. Uh, punching through six eight foot waves or coming in like that can be quite hectic of course um, so we just try and keep secure so yeah um, I've also got a little bungee system in the front here with this nice hydro turf mat kit that's snow camo and uh, from the states and I, I supply those as well and um, yeah this is nice to just store your your uh, tools in or whatever it may be your knife or pliers um, and yeah um, extra little loop here for the for the for the rod uh, for the paddle leash um which is just lying loose there at the moment that works really well and uh yeah um that's my kayak and uh i'm really really happy with it i used it uh once just before lockdown and um yeah to be honest it was uh really amazing i, I know i've obviously used the kayaks before the 460 before and tested them etc great great kayak great looking great stability and lots of comfort the seat the positioning of it the center of gravity everything is perfectly designed for uh, for comfort so i don't really think you'll need a backrest some guys have bought backrests from me but uh yeah i don't think you need it it's it's really good and just one last thing um in my rear flip up hatch i've uh, i've got another modification so i actually store my battery etc in this rear hatch the battery for my fish finder and i feed it all the way inside the hatch, inside the the hull, and I pass this rod holder, and then through in here, and then it's actually stored underneath here. Uh, it's a very big uh, rear hatch, but yeah, I've got this nice round uh, Tupperware which I which I import them, and uh, just keep a few things. I've got a waterproof phone, and a few other goodies that I normally keep in there. Uh, some other I normally also if I go deep, I'll, I'll take some flares, etc. And obviously I'll store some water in there and, and tow rope and, and whatever other safety equipment. But that's really a, a nice addition and it's very neat. Um, it sits nicely there. You can obviously take it out when you're on the water. But it's just for now. And uh, yeah, a great um, added benefit to the flip-up hatch. I must be honest, uh, uh, that fits in there perfectly and uh, certainly does the job. And you know, being organized on the kayak is, is very, very important. Um, you have limited space and limited time in the water as well so uh, sometimes conditions are not good a lot of the time conditions are not good and um, yeah it's just good to be super organized and um, make your time 
uh, worthwhile while you're on the water. So I hope you enjoyed my, my 460 and uh, more videos to come.